hope for the best. Don't let me down. Oh, she died. Oh, she's going. Okay. A lot of Virginia Slim. I've never built anything in my entire life. Didn't make the farm stop. Whoa, whoa. Okay, girl. My dad trained oh. me to work that way. Oh, he stopped at the toilet. <laughs> Why would you need to drive anything else? <laughs> oh. Solving a mystery. Oh, no. Major problem. We gotta have it done by tomorrow evening. The more you know. She's a good put. She'll get them piggies. Ow! Drive it out of it, right, Ralphie? Yeah. <laughs> Double burrito Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? Hey, hi. Crock power. Dangle, dangle. She bouncy. Wow, Working at the car wash. I ripped their hands off. That's not helping. No, 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 Rocky. Hey. Check it Goat cam. Warp floors and cluttered drawers. <laughs> Bringing the color back. You ain't lived. Could be some nicotine in here. The Dollar General. Lord. The street racers right here. You look right at home in this thing. When they come out that door. They're going to be so excited to see us. The suspense is killing me. Oh, are they coming? Yeah. Oh, dear God. Yeah. It just oh, dies. This ain't funny. <laughs> Don't hide, Wawa. <laughs> Drank after the pig. What do you think? Add the gas two or three times. This is the perfect car. I love it. You're funny. Welcome back to Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We're back with the Mercury Zephyr that had been parked for 15 years. We got it running just a couple days ago. And me and Wawa are about to get on the interstate to go get the brake parts to fix this thing. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Never been on the interstate with it. Hope for the best. What do you think? You gonna make it? Sure. Hopefully. We haven't even washed this car yet. Well, there's a dually bearing down on us, and we're up to 55 miles per hour. All right, 65. I'm probably gonna settle in right here. Well, so far so good. We're sticking it right at 65 with this thing. No lights have come on yet. It doesn't have any gauges, so we don't know exactly what our oil pressure or temperature is. But at least we got new casings. So the reason we're driving this thing today is we got to fix the brakes on it. We're going to put new brake hoses on it, get everything working good. Uh, may even put calipers and wheel cylinders on it. The hoses look like they're in terrible shape, which usually means the rest of it is too. We want to get this thing where it is completely roadworthy, where if we want to go to a show in it, we're ready to go. So we're going to head to the parts store now and pick up our brake parts that came in today and hopefully get this thing going and cleaned up in this video. It feels like I'm traveling in time in this thing. It's going so fast. Fuel gauge works, speedometer works, odometer works, but everything else is relying on these four little light bulbs down here to tell me if something's wrong. Don't really care for that. Just Wawa with me today. She got a servant's heart, so she came with me. Look at this interior though. Mom would be biting her fingernails right now going down the interstate in this thing. She gets nervous about breakdowns, uh, whether she admits it or not. She gets real nervous. We played with the radio and we got it working. <laughs> and now we're going to get copyrighted. Human for the midweek. Hamilton Healthcare System in Dalton is. It went from not working to being too loud. <laughs> And I'm Chief Meteorologist. Man, it went down the interstate perfect. Like, yeah. I have so much confidence. Now, our brake pedal, I don't know if you can tell, you gotta pump the brakes and they just keep fading down. Possibility we may need a master cylinder for that. Okay, we got a whole back seat full of parts here. Got two compliments about the Zephyr while we were here. Come on, girl. Don't let me down. A little flooded. Nothing to worry about. All right, now can we make it home? I think this is the first time I've drove one of these will it start projects to the parts store to get brake parts. Usually you're a, uh, oh, she died. This one. <laughs> Why is it there? That has never done this to us. What is it doing? You gotta keep it revved up right now. Oh, she's going. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
because the brakes still work they're just not good you can still drive those and if you like talking to people just buy an old car and drive it everywhere all kinds of people will talk to you we're gonna have to do something with the exhaust where we can hear it run there's a tesla behind us he only wishes he had the technology this car has now we're making 50 miles an hour he wishes he had this car she can do 70 i don't know how many rpm she's turning but it's a lot oh gosh look at that skyline that's the third guy that wishes he had our car Yeah, like a champ. A little spongy on the brakes, but uh, aside from our little hiccup leaving the store, it did good, didn't it? Yeah, it did pretty good. We were jamming out to the radio, just can't let you hear it, unfortunately. Well, let's get started on this thing. You're gonna have to change clothes if we're gonna work on this thing. I oh, know. Not bad. I like to check with something like this that's been sitting and see if like the hoop gets hot while you drive it yeah or the caliper that's pretty toasty it feels toastier than it could be you could light a virginia slim off that hub we need to grease our bearings when we're doing all this so we've either got a caliper sticking or a wheel bearing getting hot so you just push this into there no okay. and no farther till it clicks Yep. There you go. Hey, you finally worked on a car on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about coming in here. <laughs> this hub seems to be the hottest one. See, here's what we're dealing with. This is why it surprises me that these brakes work at all. So we gotta get these hoses off, calipers off, get this thing stopping good. Got front runners on it just all the way around. Whoa! Woohoo! This seems to be our worst one, so I'm gonna start there and press the piston here. Now we're just replacing these with stock calipers, but there's a lot of good brake upgrades you can do to these because it's the same platform as a Mustang. You could go all the way up to 13 inch Cobra front brakes. You can get the SVO Mustang brakes, which are five lug. The GT Mustang brakes are a little bit bigger, but you know, me being in a hurry, I didn't do any of that. I'm just putting the stock ones back in. You know? Okay, let's do this. We got Wawa building a shelf I bought. You're better off just to cut the things off than to deal with them, I figured out. This caliper is still toasty, roasty hot from going and picking these parts up. It got hotter than it should. So somehow our back brake shoe, it's not stuck to this, but it's stuck in the slider back there, I guess. Can't get it to move at all. That may have been why the brakes were getting hot and it wasn't sliding properly. Why don't you come off here? What am I doing wrong? Our inner brake pads are rusted to our knuckle is what the problem is. I'm trying to break them loose. Finally. So our issue is this edge is right here. We're rusted to that. So I'm going to have to do a little grindy grindy right there probably. It's just a little bit to get the rust off of it. What you working on? We've all got a different project tonight. <laughs> We're all working on different things out here. Usually we're all working on the same thing. What are you doing? Huh? Yeah. What you doing? There we go. Looks uh, not too greasy. You're doing a great job, Wawa. I'm managing it. I've never built anything in my entire life. Sir, what are you working on? I need the shifter out there. What are we going to do with this shifter? Use it for the Jeep. <laughs> this nut was just hand tight, which you don't want them tight, but it probably should have been a little bit tighter. It's not completely dry, but look, I mean, there's not much grease at all in there. I'm trying to clean as much of this old grease off as I can here. 
everything i'm seeing so far looks good our bearing races look good our bearings look good so i think we're just gonna be re-greasing it is all because you don't want to run a wheel off me and dad one time we was in the old diesel gmc farm truck and driving in the snow and all of a sudden passenger front left us i watched it go through the fence row and out through the field I just like to goop them up in there. Now, you don't want any to come past your seal. I'll have to clean that mess off because that'll just sling all over your rotor. But pack that back bearing as best I can. I'm struggling. I don't know if I'm like, switch this. But... I'd rather have too much grease in there than not enough, you know? Okay, we got our washer on there. And now we're going to put the nut on here. So I like to spin it, snug it down, back it back off, just like adjusting hydraulic valves, you know? And if we would have done a brake upgrade on this, we would have had to switch our hoops probably because it probably wouldn't fit under these factory hoops. I always put a little bit of grease in the cap, you know, just for good measure. Look at that slides on like butter now that I grab that rust off there. Got a brand new hose, man. Hoses is a huge thing with old brakes. Definitely replace your hoses if nothing else. Man, it's a pain when you have a rusted up brake line. Thankfully, this one's not. Do I put the nut on the outside? Yes. I see. How's it going out here? Good. You're taking its wheels off too? I have to. Why? Oh, I see. Sweet. I'm to take off the wheel. I want to make my own car. So I had my brake hose in the bracket over here and had been trying for 20 minutes to get the thread in. So I finally just took it off and I'm having no luck threading this in there. I don't know if it's the wrong threads. I don't know if O'Reilly's gave me the wrong brake hose or what. I haven't figured this out yet. But this is being harder than filling the application out at the Dollar General. I can't get the thread on to save my life. I've been working on this for a while now, and it's not threading on. I mean, they look identical there. I think this is a little bit smaller on the inside, though. So our brake line that we just cut had a 7 16 24 tube nut, and the one that they sent us from O'Reilly's is a 3 8 tube nut. So I think I'm going to have to cut the brake line and put this fitting on because O'Reilly's doesn't list another hose for this car. It's the only one for it. So I guess somebody's wrong somewhere. I definitely should not have to be doing this right here to put brake hoses on. I did not expect this. It looks like it does have a 3 16 brake line, but the tube nut's just bigger. So see your brake line cutter has a little groove in there to fit the flare if you're just cutting the flared end off, if you didn't know that already. This is our replacement. It's the same size inside diameter, just completely different on the outside. We're making brake lines. Yeah. You're making brake lines before? No, wire brake lines. Their lines that go to your brake. They make the car stop? Yes. Interesting. And then just like that, it goes right in there. I should not have had to do that. I think I got this side done. As usual, I'm going to leave my bleeder screw loose and go work on the other side. What are you doing? You're going to get hurt. I don't got no snacks for you in here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, girl. All right. Move it on. Oh, she is huge today. This rotor here looks like it's been replaced right before they park it or something. Look at that. I can't believe the brakes are even working. This one's the same way. The back brake pads are stuck to the spindle here. It's crazy how stuck they are and the brakes still worked. Yeah, that thing was super stuck as well. It's right there. Rusted to them. A lot of you guys have asked me, why do I work in flip flops and shorts? Well, my dad taught me to do that. That's my, not. My dad trained no. me to work that way. No. And that's why I work like this. He went astray somewhere. I didn't teach him that. <laughs> he should have wear good shoes. He's going to cut his toe all he's going to do. That's what they say. It's got too late for Granny, hadn't it? Yeah, she's trying to find She's the right like man. Jeopardy starting any minute. A little more grease than this one. You're about to get it. Y'all thought I couldn't do it. Y'all thought I couldn't do it. We yeah. never said you couldn't do it. I thought y'all was thinking. <laughs> I conquered. Uh, <laughs> right in the dirt. Great. Did you get it, Wawa? 
got like the last brace, so. So this is your first big thing you put together like this, huh? Yeah, by myself. You did a great job. Yeah. Basketball time, it's dark. Oh man, almost. Look at these beauties out here. Oh, nothing but that. So we just got back from Bristol. I got an epic haircut and a wonderful tan. So we're gonna get back on this car and get the brakes done, get it cleaned up. And I think there needs to be a little clarification in who stopped at the toilet. <laughs> Listen guys, you saw the footage. You saw who had the crowbar in their hand. You better tell them the truth right now. Anymore? We're gonna get the brakes done. We're gonna get it cleaned up good and drive it to the Shades of the Past car show in Pigeon Forge. It's the last one. We've went like every year my whole life. So we want to make it to the last one and we want to drive this beauty up there because what else would you drive? When you have a car like this, why would you need to drive anything else? And this is Thursday morning and we're wanting to go to the Shades of the Past on Saturday morning. So we all we have is today and tomorrow to get this thing ready to go. Let's see if we can make it. Every time I work on another project car, I like fall in love with it. I don't know what it is. Or if I work on uh, the dark wagon or something and drive it, I'm like, man, I love this car. And then I work on the next one, I'm like, I love this car. <laughs> <laughs> I fall in love with them. I, I sit in them, I drive them, and I'm like, I love this car. You got any helpers? Ellie today, she's trying to help. She stays no more than three feet away from mom at all times. We got our bearings all greased up and everything tightened back up in there. She's all in it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep her off my phone. <laughs> now this is super strange. I gotta think that they just had it boxed wrong or something. This one fits. I'm not gonna have to make a break on to this side. This one screws right in. So why the heck did the other one not screw right in? I think they got that bag wrong. Something. Somebody well, it don't matter now. I've already cut the brake line to make it work, but this one screws right in. Well, that's good. Thank the Lord and Greyhound, right? Yeah. Well, I'm going to put some brake fluid in this because it leaked out while we were gone. And look at the pond water in the bottom of this. It's uh, pretty muddy down in there. I'm going to clean out as best I can before I put new fluid in it. Hopefully, I'm not making a mistake by not replacing the master cylinder. I'm hoping it's still usable, but only one way to find out. Hopefully that thing will work for us. It's not, I mean, it's aluminum master cylinder, I think, because it's not rusted at all. Looks pretty good, really. It looks look good. It wouldn't be that hard to change. It's just two bolts if we have to change it, but we're gonna try to make this one work. What's funny is this one has a 10 millimeter bleeder screw. The other side has a 3.8, so I don't know why. The bleeder screws are different. The brake hoses are different, but they are. So we're gonna move to the rear now. Here are wheel cylinders and hose in the back. Get these brakes bled and we'll be ready to roll. No way I'm gonna lose those lug nuts. You see how stuck our nine inch brakes are. Oh, this car is just too good to me. We need brake shoes. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. Look at that. Our back brake shoe is shot. I wonder if I can have them today. It's blew out the seal on the wheel cylinder. That may have been the soft pedal I was feeling. It's got brake fluid inside the drum. Okay, let me get on the horn here. See what I can do. Yeah, these are thin. I mean, they're real thin and chipping off. The wheel cylinder hasn't pushed out. That look, that shoe's cracked right there. That's just part of working on these old cars as you run into stuff like that. But luckily, O'Reilly said they have it in stock, which I can't believe. I got the tag here. It was like falling off this rear axle. Let's see what numbers we got on our gear ratio. I can't really read this tag. It should say something like seven, five, and then like whatever the gear ratio is, three, zero, eight. And they have an L on them if they're a posi, which I don't expect this to have no posi, nothing. Make a rubbing of it. I feel like I'm like solving a mystery here. Well, making a rubbing didn't help. It looks like there's a three over here, and then it's like nine, one, two, and then I see a two up here and a C. So there's probably not enough information here for us to tell what gear ratio it is without counting teeth. Well, I don't know why Ford did this, but they put the huge counterweight that's on the front of the axle right in the way of taking the differential plug out. So we're gonna check the uh, Earl here in the differential if we can get in there to it. Look at that, it's completely full. This car is incredible. Exactly where it's supposed to be. This thing is so solid under here. These floors are perfect. There's no rust at all on these floors. 
I love it. You didn't know how to act something like that. I don't that, know. Do yeah, it's like, what? There's cars that don't have rusted out floor pans? Let's see if this brake line comes loose. Oh, this car. <laughs> Uh, I was bragging too much. Oh no. Just broke a brake line that goes to the driver's rear brake shoes. Alright, don't twist off on me. Oh, this one's gonna be okay, I think. So these bolts that hold the brake hose down to the rear end, it's actually a vent as well. So you always need to blow through these, make sure that it's not stopped up because you want to have a vent on pretty much anything on the car. This looks correct. This is where we usually run into problems. Uh, when we order them from Wrong Auto, usually the rear brake hose comes in about as correct as uh, my answer is on my seventh grade English test. We look like we're doing good here. We got this from O'Reilly, so it fits. <laughs> it put right back into my nose. Like everything goes into that cup and goes right back at you. Ooh, that is also broke up top now. It must have been really rusted out right there. Okay, we're gonna have to make a whole new line going over there now. So here's another conundrum. The rear is the same way, look. Big fitting on this side, small fitting on that side. The side that broke is a small fitting. So I do have those tube nuts here to make this with, but just odd that it's two different fittings as well. Get out of here. I got the tube nut put on one end and got everything flared. Now I'm gonna use my factory tubing benders here to bend this thing where we want it. There, it's about right. So we kind of know what our length should be. I'm gonna cut this thing off here and go ahead and pull the old brakes off and wheel cylinders and then we'll put this on at the end. That way we know we got the right length exactly. Oh, this thing's stuck. There we go. I can already see these springs are shot. Uh, I should have something here. And we got a major problem. Our self-adjuster cable is broke. So the self-adjuster cable goes through here and hooks on this and it is completely missing. These pistons are just stuck out on this too. See, this should go in when I push on it. This is why you gotta replace things like wheel cylinders and hoses when they've been sitting forever. It's probably got some rust inside the bore inside here. It's causing that thing to not be able to go back in. Look, that one's all the way in. That one's all the way out and it just won't go back in. Yeah, it looks like they're correct. So these you can just push right in. I can already see over here that our adjuster cables broke on this one too. We're gonna have to get those. Is there a specific link depending on what car you got? So it looks like just the self-adjuster cable is all we're gonna need on this side. All right, my hammer. So these are the same on both sides. They have the same part number. Yeah, that one feels stuck too. So I guess we need to go to town and get our brake shoes, see if we can get the self-adjuster or stuff ordered. And I'm not taking you to the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> it's not happening. So here's my pile O brake parts. So these should work to hold our shoes down on the passenger side since these are collapsed. I have one cable in here, but I'm sure it's not the right length because these things are all different lengths. But I don't have anything to reference to know how long it's supposed to be. Well, they had the shoes in stock. But they gotta order our self-adjuster cable, so we should be able to come back after we pick the kids up from school, get our self-adjuster cable so we can get this brake job done. And hopefully we can get this thing done in time to make it. And we gotta have it done by tomorrow evening. How do you talk me into this stuff? You are the Mexico, not me. <laughs> Man, look at the difference in thickness there. Like I keep telling you, just like school pictures, long ones in the back. One thing I've figured out over the years, it makes it easier to thread the line in the back of these wheel cylinders, just start the tube nut into the wheel cylinder while the wheel cylinder's not bolted up. And once you get it finger tight, then bolt the wheel cylinder up. It'll make it easier to hook the lines up for you, the more you know. I like how these, the shoe actually fits straight into the wheel cylinder instead of having those little arms you gotta fight with. Get them on there, give them a twist and let them go. That's all that holds them. Putting, does this spring go on this side or have I got it backwards? She knows her drum brakes, I'll tell you right now. I'd be lost without her. She's a good pudding. Let me see you, Mama. <laughs> her is ready. She's been stomping through all the parts for me. This thing does not have very big brakes. They're about, they're pudding size brakes. Look, she's gonna nibble on my fingers as I work. You are the worst to nibble. Ow. Shook it. 
get them toes for sure. She is a toe nibbler. She'll get them piggies before you know it. Pudding was a bottle baby, if you didn't know, that my wife got the night she was born. Her mama didn't make it. The vet called us and said, do you need a little baby? Go, ow! So Pudding thinks anything in your hand now is a bottle. So even though these shoes weren't completely wore out, look at that. Crack through there, crack through there, there. The whole top's chipped off of them. You gotta get this old brake fluid off of here. You don't want any sort of liquid on your brake drums when you're uh, putting new shoes on for sure. It'd probably be best to get them turned, but we didn't. So we basically built everything we can do on the brakes. We've got our new line made and everything. And the cable I had here is far too long. So so the other one's supposed to be here in about another hour or so. Wife's gonna go pick the kids up. And then once the kids get here, I guess we're gonna go to town and get our new adjuster cable. I think we'll be done with the brakes then. We can probably bleed them then, right, honey? Sounds like a plan to me. So me and Wawa are headed to go get the self-adjuster kits for this thing so we can get the brakes working, get this thing cleaned up, hopefully some tonight and tomorrow and get it ready to go to the show. O'Reilly's had our box of jingle bells for the brakes. So it actually comes with new uh, adjusters for the bottom, so we'll just probably go ahead and replace it because it's pretty important for these to be able to turn freely for your brakes to adjust on their own. That tool right there saves you a lot of time. We got all our new self-adjuster stuff, all our new shoes, our new springs and hold downs. I've got the adjuster turned all the way in. We're gonna see how close that is. Well, if I can line it up. So I'm gonna give this thing a few turns. And I like to do it until it has a little bit of drag to it and then it's good to go. That might be too much. That's too much drag there. That should be about right. I loosened it up, up just a little bit. There we go. Hold that there, Wawa. Oh, God, I hit my head and my forehead. The back of my head and my forehead at the same time. You don't seem to, like, want to come back over. You okay? Jeez, my finger. Did it scare you? What did it do? It just, like, came back and hit my finger. Okay, I think we got it on fine, there. It's fine, but... This one's a little too tight. And I've got it loosened up all the way. Everything looks correct. Man, it's tight. Huh? I really have no way to adjust it in any farther. See, it's almost too tight. I guess we'll just drive it out of it, right, Ralphie? Yeah. Think that'll work? Yeah. Great. <laughs> That's terrible. There you got it, buddy. Come on, we gotta bleed some brakes. Your hair's even more explosive upside down. Oh, wait, let me move the seat for you. There you go. Ready? Yeah, pump them up. Oh. What's it feel like? It was soft at first, but now it's getting harder. Hold down. Did that go down any when I did that? No. It was a silent but deadly. <laughs> you could pump her over. Ooh. Taco Tuesday back here again. So we still got some air. I heard that. It may have been double burrito Wednesday. We moved to the front now. Oh, God. Hey, how rude. Is it getting a lot harder? Yes, it's like I can't even touch the floor now. It's good now. Oh, yeah. It's feeling good. Yeah. Last corner. Ooh. How's it feeling now? Good. Hard. Think that's it? Yeah. Would you drive it like that? Yeah. Well, it looks like our pond water reservoir is full, so we should be good to go. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Ralph, you think this thing can make it to Pigeon Forge? Yeah. Did I get it on? You need me to turn it? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sorry, I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Which way does it go? Push it. Push it what? Push it from the bottom. Okay. Croc power. We only got three over here. I only have two over here. That's the story of my life. What, what are you doing with the rest of them? You've lost the lug nuts. Smart cars only got three on it, so I don't see a problem. Wait, what? This thing's got too much goat power for only two. Uh, so this thing looks like it's been to the muffler shop about 12 times and got different exhaust systems. This is completely loose from the back of the cat up here, but I'm going to try to tie it up so it doesn't just dangle dingle around here. And we did it right. We're cutting the end off the coat hanger. We still haven't found two of our lug nuts though. Well, probably can't even go like 70. So you're saying you don't need all lug nuts if it won't go past interstate speeds? Yeah. We're going to have to glue our tail lights in if we're going to drive it, huh? Okay, I, I'll ride in this ghetto thing, but I ain't riding with my lights taped in, okay? <laughs> it's just too much. <laughs> Asking too you much, I think. You like that. Hey, I found the last lug nut for this side. Now if Ralph, he can just find the one he lost. I didn't lose it. Oh, yeah. She bouncy. I mean, who wouldn't love these? Hubcaps. Can you think of one person, Ralphie? Me. <laughs> what, you don't like the hubcaps? No. All right, do you think she'll start? Absolutely. Give her a couple pumps. <laughs> you told me 100%. Is it flooded? I think the carburetor probably leaks down. It's so quiet. This thing is gonna look so good. Try to you... stop like right now. Oh yeah. We're not used to cleaning one up that's already this nice, huh? No. They're usually like terribly nasty. Yeah. This thing's a jewel, isn't it? Rub it up like all the way. No, we just started. Just do it, just do it. I, I wanna see if like what will happen. It's, not, it's like so quiet you can't even tell it's yeah. ramming up. That's hilarious. Beauty. And if you're wondering, Wawa was able to finish the shelf. Yeah. You did I, a, a great job. I did this. Good job. Congratulations. <laughs> you put your first thing together. Yeah. Well, here's uh, one last look at this Beauty before we wash it. You can see it's got a bunch of green mold and mildew all over it. We're probably going to rip the body side moldings off because they're like every other Fairmont we've owned. They're all wrinkled up. That. So we're gonna try to get all that stuff off. So you get a bunch of mold mildew stuff on the bumpers. Same thing on this side, especially down low. We got a lot of junk there. The quarters for some reason have more than the rest, don't they, Ralphie? Oh yeah. Look at the top of the bumper here too, and well, the whole bumper, how nasty it is. So we ought to be able to get most all this stuff off there. Got some either cat or raccoon prints there. Squeeze, you know which one it is? Raccoon. Raccoon. You yeah. heard it here first. So our glass is nasty as well. Uh, we're going to get started cleaning this thing. I think we might as well pull these moldings off. Try not to bend them. Like pull them. Don't pull them out of night. Yeah, there you go. Try not to fold them up like a pretzel. There you go. Okay, we'll, we'll save them. We'll probably never use them again, but we'll save them just in case. You know, they're not making any new ones. They're just barely holding on there anymore. Remember the not pretzel part, Squeezy? It's a pretzel. I know, it don't need to be a pretzel. You kind of kind of keep them straight as you pull them. There you go, Ralphie. Good job. I guess we should start under the hood, right? Because it's going to make a mess. Let's get some super clean on this engine. So here's what she looks like under here. We're going to have to be careful not to get a bunch of water on the distributor. Sometimes you can hurt one washing it, but man, this thing's nasty under the hood. Sometimes they surprise us under the hood. You can have a car that's super rough, clean under the hood, it looks brand new under the hood sometimes.
look how nice man over here was like so nasty and now it's super cleaned up i tried to stay away from the uh distributor because they don't really like water usually but we should take the smog pump off at some point because it's serving no purpose it's locked up all the hoses and junk that go to it but man i knew it would clean up nice did you see over here it was like solid brown and then now it's really nice so try not to peel my stickers off either i like to keep them as much as we can The terrible thing about these old chrome moldings is they just trap dirt and junk like that and just rot stuff out.
man that was fun like pressure washing where the mold and junk was <laughs> it uh really cleaned up a bunch that i know we gotta do that still i think the bleach will get on we'll get that off we're gonna spray this thing over with bleach now and brush it top to bottom and uh that should help it clean up it surprised me especially on the hood how much it uh cleaned up the hood i thought the hood wouldn't make any difference at all but man it was making a big difference wasn't it over here oh yeah mom's a bleach sprayer <laughs> look at them white walls shining that surprised me how good those turned out i know it looks beautiful yeah. the bleach really helps a lot i like the two-tone anybody else like the two-tone oh, yeah. i think it may be original paint i'm gonna give it a look-see rusty hook <laughs> We gotta get some more big car wash brushes. We don't have enough of them. They'll think we bought a brand new car. Everybody's gonna think we bought a brand new car. You know that? Mm -hmm. Mom will be listing her Suburban for sale after I get this. Huh. Yeah, right. This thing has an ashtray too. This is not replacing my car. Dad, you didn't even... Working at the car wash. Is it clean yet? Um, I think so. Washing the color off. And she's not right here. I think that's taking it off there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's red. Oh, no. I take this to a car show. Somehow we offer me. 20 grand for it. I'll rip their hands off. What happened to the Zephyr in them? We've got to find it. It was on there. Was it? Yeah, it was on there. It's not orange and being brown is coming off there. Don't worry, Wawa found the badge, so we'll have to clean and retape that and put it back on there. I think that took off a lot of our spots. Like it was all black and spotty all through here, and it looks like it took all that off. This thing, oh my gosh, it, it looks like it's on the dealership floor right now. You know, this is when you want to take your Craigslist pictures right now. Perfect lighting and everything, but look at this. I could not believe how nice the uh, rear bumper cleaned up. I don't know what these streaks are from. It looks like maybe somebody else got degreaser on the paint or something. It's got some streaks in there, but we'll look it over closer, but it almost looks like this car is original paint. It really kind of does look like it's original paint car. I think I can knock this dent out. I'm gonna try that real quick because she's got a whiskey dent right there. Oh, look. look at that. Told you. I can never wonder why happen. nobody didn't pop that dent out years ago. A good PDR guy could push some more of these dents out right there. Well, now we need to clean the door jams out. Normally, I would open these up and pressure wash the jams, but the interior is so nice, I don't want to do that. We're about to run out of daylight, aren't we? Yeah, there's a little bit. The sun's already going down. These, these winter months, they get me. <laughs> You're supposed to be a big helper. He's weed eating. I guess that does help some. Look at those little four. It says four. I think down there. that is where they do like the the cavity wax from the factory to keep the car from rusting, because it has them all through here. They probably paid three ninety nine ninety nine extra to get the uh, wax to keep the car from rusting out. Oh, it's really dirty under there. This way we won't flood our interior. Hopefully, it's really nasty up under here. So many people don't clean their door jams. Yeah, spotty webs. Somebody must have knocked the wash nest off. There was two wash nests right here. This thing was made in the third month of 1982. It's just the peak of automotive styling. You guys know. Yes. 
Same thing here, spotty webs and mud and junk under the bottom of the doors. I feel bad for Charlotte. Are you shifting gears over there or what? No. I heard it. Yeah, yeah. I heard you hit fourth over there. This is the only spot in the car I've seen any rust. It's got some rust right here. Well, I guess the leaves filled up in the gutter and kept water against that. But we're going to get this stuff out of here. I think most of it's probably trash, but there's some good transmission fluid in here. Rocky, you work on the paperwork, okay? He is a great tax accountant. I mean, we haven't been audited ever since he was born. Oh yeah, what's that for, Squeezel? No, I don't get the rust off. It gets the rust off. It gets the rust off. Well, I guess I'm just gonna take this whole uh, bang and dump it. Wow, that is lush. Wow. Rocky's gonna work on cleaning that up. Look, it's still got the sound deadening stuff in here. Where are you gonna find another one, you know? As I say, I'm gonna leave that there. So it's got all this sound deadener stuff still in the quarter. Mint. Mint, you're right. Cheeto? Oh. I didn't even see. What? Your son's in the car. Oh my gosh, get him out of there. Stuck in the car. Get out of here. No, 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 Rocky. Come on. No, Rocky. No. Not in the mint condition oh vehicle. Of course he got in the car. <laughs> Can Jess a big helper? Tell you, Rocky. I'm a big helper. Why are you eating my banana tree? You know this is off limits. Rocky, no. No. Hey. Hey! That's so destructive. It's still full. I, I feel like this is one of the worst things for a car is for this gutter back here to be full of dirt and mud. And this thing was packed. Look at that. Even after pressure washing the car and vacuuming it out, you've got to check your crack. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Check your crack. Maybe now I can rinse this out without it overflowing the trunk so much. This thing's gonna be showroom ready, isn't it? Even though I, I don't like the car, I do think it looks pretty good, cleaned up. It's really surprising. It's really nice. I knew it would. I had total. Oh yeah. I had total faith that it would clean up nice. This is all that rust off the bottom side of that trunk lid. Well, we have ran out of daylight tonight, haven't we, Squeezy? Yeah. Jeffrey's gonna be on any minute now. So we're gonna have to go in here. These winter months are gonna get us, is the problem. We run out of daylight too soon. We're gonna have to come back and vacuum the inside of this car out and wipe it down tomorrow. Tomorrow is our final day to get this car car show ready. Right, Squeezel? Yeah. See you in the morning. And Rocky's gotta go to bed because he goes to bed at dark sharp, don't you, Rocky? Guys, you have a good day at school. And I will try to have her cleaned up and ready for you when you get home, okay? Are you super excited about it? Yeah. Rafa didn't tell me I could drive it to school this morning. Oh, I could take it to school we should have drove y'all to school in it. No, the brakes work, don't, Mom. Don't add that idea. What, Wawa? You could just drive to school in a very nice car for your friends to see. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. So we were at my wife's homeland here, the Walmart. We're gonna get some writ dye and try to bring some of the color back into the carpet on this, uh, door panels on this thing. $4.56, this is gonna redo our interior here. 
Oh, racing it's racing red. red. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. That thing's gonna go so fast. <laughs> so we're trying something that several of you guys recommended we should try. We're gonna have a goat cam. Pudding, are you ready for this? Huh? You're live, Pudding. There you go. <laughs> She's like, I can't walk in this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold Rocky's allowance this week. He got dirty footprints on my pristine car. I normally don't care because most of what we got, the carpet shot. But this beauty here. Yeah. I mean. I want to take care of this. Look at all these pins we got with this car. Look, we still got a little bit of Paul Mall in there. Oh. You God. always want to buy a car, still got a few ashes left in her. I guess they couldn't afford front mats so you put rear mats in the front we got no rear mats we're gonna have to hit the parts store maybe and get us some mats with things that carpet is is thick i'm telling you i've been trying it to tell you it ain't been worn down that's that's Look, thick we got <laughs> we got a little cigarette ash burn <laughs> several yeah granny's paul mall ashes made it in the car but we still got some hey marlboros in there you know every now and then you got to go through the ashtray and see if you left some on there you know oh my Light hands. her back up. You always want to take the time to shine up your ashtrays. You are going above and beyond on this car. Well, when you got it, you got it. You know, you get a jewel like this, you want to treat her right. Look at that, honey. All you need is a little 4 aught steel wool. Shine them right up. See all these black spots from where it was molded? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Would you just look at it? It'll take stains out of your clothes, fix your warp floors and clutter drawers, give you better fuel mileage. It's amazing what this stuff can do. They just don't make maroon interior cars like they used to. It's so sad. They had a good thing going. <laughs> don't want mom to catch us smoking. Is this considered drag carpet? I don't know what it's called, but it's very thick compared to what you normally see. It's not that cheap junk they put in those cars nowadays. This is back when men were men and cars were cars and women were pregnant. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it over that one. <laughs> Have we ever bought a car with good carpet? I don't know. I can't think of one. Usually the carpet is always done. Even the Malibu needs carpet. It did have pretty good interior. Yeah. this the package tray is still perfect it's just made of cardboard look at that thing look at this oh bringing the color back wow i did my usual mistake i didn't look up first we need to pull this headliner down there's not enough left this thing to be worth saving so now I'm gonna get it dirty again. Oh man, I, I hate to take a push pin out of the headliner. Just takes me back to that 80 Buick Park Avenue. <laughs> of course, we were fancy. We had the clear push pins, you know, and all these white ones. You haven't put push pins in a headliner, you ain't lived. I need to go back around it with a razor blade and make it look real nice. You have to get all this off that's loose before you glue a new one on. All right, I think I got all that done. Now I'm gonna take a razor blade and trim up the edges so we don't have this junk hanging down here. Oh yeah, like it never even happened. We'll have to uh, recover this headliner in a video soon. It's really hard to get the dirt out of this carpet. Like it wants to stay in it because it's so thick. Now don't get used to that driver's seat, honey.
I mean, do I even need to clean this? I'm not going to use the Law Awesome. You don't want to lose your wood grain there? On, on, my, <laughs> on my wood grain. Last time, that stuff took the wood grain off. We're going to use that die down here to try to brighten this back up. We'll see how well it works. Man, that is so nice. I can never sell this car. See how, was it dirty? Barely. They took some good care of this thing, huh? Yeah, it should be. Pudding got a lot of weed eating done while we were working on the interior. I don't know what's on this glass. It almost feels like the way glass does after you pull the window tint off. It almost feels gummy. Maybe it's nicotine. Maybe that's what I'm feeling on the glass. I don't know. Mm, maybe so. Could be some nicotine in here. We'll actually be able to see to drive this thing now. I seriously couldn't see the first time we drove this thing. We need to get a windshield put in this thing. Luckily, it's on the passenger side, so not as big a deal. Still needs one, though. This thing barely needs cleaned in here. Aside from the dirty carpet and the headliner, this thing really needs almost nothing. I, I haven't seen the operation game down here. The early Fox Body Mustangs and stuff had that too. This looks very similar to like a four-eyed Fox Body Mustang did. I wish it had vinyl seats all the way through. Yeah, I just wonder, like, where would you even get good interior for this thing if you needed it? You know, like, where would you find another? I'm sure they don't reproduce any of this stuff, you know? That's the hard part about liking weird cars like I do. Is they just don't make parts for them, so you got to find a decent one. Can't really make a decent one. you got to protect your fake wood grain, you know? Take care of that stuff. You know, I used to not believe in love at first sight until I found this car. You're going you to get it. <laughs> You're going to get it. Keep on. There's a couple little stains on here I'm trying to get out with this. It's like Resolve. It's only for cars that have been in heavy traffic. It says so right on the packaging there. If your car's not been in heavy traffic, I don't know if I'd chance using this stuff. I just broke your car. What? I'm sorry, I didn't. What? My Z7 badge? Honey. <laughs> Least you know it was a little bit loose and now I can get it. It could have been lost on the road and you could have never seen it again. So, I mean, you should really thank me for that. I should have put in the prenup that if you break my Z7 badge, all right, it's over. <laughs> hey, if you'd put anything about this Z7 in the prenup, you wouldn't have to worry about it, buddy. <laughs> now, you don't want to get it too wet. We're going to drive it. I know, we got to drive it. All because of goat. Yeah. He got a few footprints on that passenger seat. So we're in the home stretch. We clean this thing up. We just bought this stuff at Walmart like we saw before. So we just mixed it 50-50 with water. And it should put the color back into this. Look at that. If you watched us redo our 86 C10, we did this to the carpet on it. The carpet was literally white and we made it blue again with Rit dye and a spray ball. And you can brush it in with like a wire brush. Usually seems to help. It works magic on this old nasty faded out carpet. There you go, it just needs some time to dry. Really helps the look of an old faded out interior. And like I said, you could do it to the carpet and stuff if you have time. Honestly, you could probably do it to these seats that are faded out, but I don't want to do it because we're about to get in the car and drive it. I'm just going to do half of this and we'll show you how much better it looks. There you go. There's your difference. What it looks like before and after. Probably a second or third coat would make a huge difference as well. Will the steel wool take the rust stains off this? Oh my gosh. Look at that. So you always want to clean the inside of your tail lights. All these Fairmonts and stuff, the tail lights fall out. So we taped them in last time. Now we are cleaning them inside now, and I'm going to re-glue the tail lights back into this thing. Look at all the junk that's inside the tail light lens from it getting water in it for all these years and just sitting. My algae. And this is all that holds it together is this butyl. Now that stuff gets gooey and just falls apart. I think I'm going to silicone these in like we did the last set, and hopefully we won't have to uh, worry about them falling out anymore. Better check my bulbs while I got them apart, huh? Yeah, that'd be good. Be a good time to change the bulbs, too. It's so nasty. So now we just got to clean this butyl as much as we can out of these tracks. This is right up your alley. <laughs> she alley. loves stuff like this, like the glue that peels off clean, you know, kind of stuff. Yeah. How about beautiful? Hey. Now, I don't know if the uh, goat can will fit on Granny. We might have to get the XL model. Yeah, I don't think she'll fit. Yeah. We got our, what is this, Gorilla 100% silicone? That's what we're gonna try. I wonder if like construction adhesive would probably do it, wouldn't it? 
That's just the hazards of living that Fairmont and Zephyr life right there. Okay, let that dry and we should be good. Cincinnati triple a $500 car theft protected. So what, they give you 500 bucks for your Zephyr if somebody steals it or what? That's crazy, I don't know. I wouldn't take 500 bucks for my Zephyr. Who would? We're gonna have to get us some uh, double side tape to stick these back on there. Man, this thing is looking like new money. I'm gonna have to go try and get some double side tape at the store. I mean, where else would you go but the Dollar General to get something like this? Looks like they don't have any double side tape, but they got these and I think that'll work. My wife's been dying to go to the beach, so got her something special. That should be all we need. Whoa, Lord. Man, no bourbon barbecues. What's the world coming to? Check this out. I'm putting the trunk mat back in it. Grandma had her hide a key in here. I may just leave that right there. You know how they are. Granny always got a hide a key. She ain't getting locked out of the house. I probably should have pressure washed this yesterday when I had the pressure washer out, but maybe next time. Squeeze is home from school now. Look how much cleaner it is. Isn't it nice? Get a piece Would, of junk. Get a piece of junk? <laughs> yeah. Squeeze. You don't like it? I thought you liked this one. You want to help me put some emblems on? What's the emblems? Emblems. What's the emblems? You know, like the little things that say what kind of car it is. Yes, you. So Ralphie and Wawa are still at basketball practice. Honey, I know you've been wanting to go to the beach. So I gave you a little taste of the Caribbean here. Seriously? Uh, I, some, I want my Crocs in the sand. Well, that's the closest I can get you right now. That's the Caribbean, honey. This is not really what I had in mind. Well, that's for street racers, honey. See, if you don't want somebody to know one night, you give her a peel off there. Nobody knows you got a Z7, you know? Oh, I see. You, you get it. You stick it back on there. Ghetto. This is made specifically for street racers right here. All right, you think you can get it back where it went? Yes. Get her all lined up there. Take your time. Daddy's watching. Give her a stick. Tell me that won't work, honey. Do you think I'm the first person to use this for this? Maybe. It's got to work. Let's line her up. Give hey. it a push now. There you go. There you go. This came out of some car we bought recently. I don't know what they were, but it'll keep our carpet safe. She's a good floor mat installer. That's upside down. There you go. You're getting it. You ready to drive it? See if our brakes work? Maybe. We'll have to go pick them up from basketball practice, isn't it? Mom has been dying to drive this thing, so she didn't get to drive it last time. She really felt like she missed out. So we're gonna give it a little rip here before we go get the kids from basketball practice. Do I get to get in the field? No, oh. we just cleaned it up. You just need to take another look here at how clean this thing is, it's ridiculous. I bet she starts right up. You're gonna be asking me to drive it. I even got this seatbelt to retract. It's ridiculous, oh, okay. We're gonna find out if the brakes work for sure. You haven't checked the brakes? Well, I drove it like, 100 feet or something. Oh, God, You might need to be bled one more time. I see why we don't let you drive much on the channel. Oh, where are we going? <laughs> You're gonna throw, sling my tail lights out, they're probably not even dry. <laughs> you should not put that before you let me drive. We gotta pick the kids up. She thought like a boat. It drives pretty good, don't it? It does drive good. Feels pretty reliable for- It's just a beauty. Something you owned. Oh, oh. What, did you break my wheel? What's wrong with it? Look, here. You broke that. it. You broke it. Oh. This thing keeps hitting me in the forehead, the sun visor. Oh, got just a little squeak. Wheel. Don't worry about that. We got two belts. Nothing to worry about. You got fuel and how fast you're going. That is really the only thing, my two things my wife looks at right there is she got gas. Got gas. And how fast you go. Really, you don't I look don't at how fast you go. That's true. Home. You would only need a fuel gauge. Not like, until you see the blue lights. That's the only time you That would like... be the perfect car for you. Just a car with a fuel gauge because that's the only thing that really matters to you anyway. A little squeak, huh? I seen if you put Old Spice deodorant on your belt, like when it's running, just put the stick of Old Spice and then it won't squeak no more. Really? Facts. Wow. Dropping facts like Have you that, heard huh? that? No. Is it fact or opinion? Exactly. I think it is Facebook facts. Hello. Do you think this thing can make it? It's going to be hilarious rolling up at the school with this belt on. 
wall is gonna. Do you think we can make it? I actually don't know it. All the way to Pigeon Forge. It's like two plus hour drive there and back. Yeah. And cruise the strip. We have been known to break down a tire or two on the way. We have a few times. You look right at home in this thing. You really do. That's because I've drove stuff like this before. What do you think, Squeezy? Six out of ten. Six that out of ten. Good. Wow, pretty good, yeah. Yeah, the brakes seem pretty good. 100 feet out drive. You're gonna run that squirrel over. Or squirrel. Ooh, yeah, it has a little clunk it. every now and then, huh? Yeah. I don't know what's squealing. It wasn't squealing when I drove it. Of course. She drove my GTO to LS Fest a few years ago. When she got there, it had like half as much oil pressure. I said, when did it lose oil pressure? Uh, I don't know. She never even looked at it. She didn't tell I was supposed to watch the gauge the whole time. You always drive this fast. We're yeah. flying. This girl's a race car driver. You didn't know it yet. The kids are going to be so excited when we pick them up in this. Ralphie might be. This thing's a powerhouse, isn't it? Compared to like an Amish horse and buggy, yeah, it's a powerhouse. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Whoa. So I think these cars back then, they just had a check engine light, and that was like temp gauge and oil pressure combined. I think I sell uh, like coolant or something. The only thing you smell is the Caribbean. That's the only thing you that, smell. That's not what I smell. <laughs> the red light's not on. That means we're fine. Something's smelling. The brakes are doing good? Huh? How yeah. are they feeling? Feels Give them a check good. there. Ooh. You want me to lock her down? This thing will stop on a dime and give you five cents change. That's how good they are. I just seen a flash of red light at the battery. Is that okay? The battery light came on? Just like when I was coming down that hill, I don't know if something was just a little bit loose, or it's not on right now, so just to let you know. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's factory, they're all that way. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, regulator or alternator. We need to check the voltage with a meter. Nothing to worry about, though. It's comfy, ain't it? It is, it rides good. That seat back there is really solid too. All right, let's go pick up the kiddios. Squeezy, I'm sorry there's not an ashtray on this side. And but I could just see us now headed towards South Dakota in this thing. Drive a little different than the, the kid hauler. Yeah, I think I'm down on the ground. Yeah. I used to be in taller up. <laughs> hey, it's very comfortable. Yeah. I just didn't have to see the outside of it. It just makes me a little nervous riding with you, that's all. Wow. Because you drive crazy, one thing. Aggressive, it's not crazy. It's kind of geared for the back roads, isn't it? Am I revving it out too much? No, you're fine. Anyways, though, hilarious picking them up. Yeah, they get kind of embarrassed when we pick them up from school in an old car. I guess because I don't have traditional fancy old cars that are nice and slick. One thing I think I like about these cars is my great grandma, I was fortunate enough to know basically all of my great grandparents. And my great grandma, Golda, she had a Granada that was the same color. And I remember that car sitting on her porch in her carport. She had a, a red Granada. So it would have probably been like a 77 ish or maybe a year or two earlier than that Granada. It was a 302 car though, but I think that kind of made me like this type of cars was she had one of these cars when I was a kid. Yeah. I think I kind of like that, that she had one. Yeah. Stuff in your childhood really affects you. It does. Like, like it, it determines what kind of stuff you're going to like, really. Blinker works. Hopefully we haven't lost a tail up. We let it drop for a little bit, but probably not long enough. They are going to be so proud of me when they come out that door, aren't they? Can you park this thing? Oh, yeah. Parallel. I can park this on a dime. All right, shut her down. Fuel's expensive. She'll, she didn't she'll like start this. back up. Our back right, I smell a little bit of brake shoes here and it's kind of hot. This is the one that was a little bit tight on us, so I don't know why that one's so tight, but put it in neutral. It can't be too tight. Car rolls. We're fine. They're going to be so excited to see us, especially the car. They're going to be so excited about the car. Well, the opposite. The opposite? Yeah. You don't think they're going to be excited? The suspense is killing me. You're not used to this. I don't know. Waiting. Leave your poor mom alone. 
about that thing, girl. Oh, are they coming? Yeah. Oh, you're God, Dad. Oh, yes. Dad, why? <laughs> 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 Get in there, guys. Look at this beauty. What's the problem? <laughs> Smell What's wrong, Wawa? Look how clean it is now. We really don't have to. <laughs> Did it scoot forward for you? Well, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, okay. We got it all cleaned up. Ready to go. Car show ready. I seen y'all and I was like, mm, mm. Oh, no. <laughs> just, just, right, Give ready? her a crank, yeah. Oh, 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 there you go. Ready? Here we go. Let's get home. Oh, it just oh. died. Yeah, died. Stop it in park. Huh? Let's just switch drivers. This ain't funny. Okay, it died on us. Let's go. Oh, there he is. That's it. Fancy cars. <laughs> It's just flooded. All right, guys, here we go. And take two. We're off. Don't hide, Wawa. <laughs> you know, I still consider it a win. One hot break and flashing battery light. Only one break down the school parking lot in front of all their friends and colleagues. I call it a win, don't you guys? Yes. What do you think? Ralphie is hyped up for this car. Nobody knows us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's squeaking. We'll figure it out though. We'll just drive that out of it. That's what you said about the motor home. Battery light is flickering here. Cool. Passing gear. But it's not on right now. How bad can it really be? We are setting sail down. We're going 60, son. It's made for this. I feel like you need to slow down. I don't slow down. I mean, it's effort. I think the old Zephyrs from like the 30s are B12. This thing pulls the mountains with ease. I could probably pull a camper behind this. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Put a pop up behind this and California, North, here we come. South Dakota, here we come. But no. <laughs> <laughs> End up in the same motel. It was a nice place. Squeeze says at least it has a water park. Once again, successful trip yep. in the Zephyr. It's cleaned up nice. I'm gonna have to let y'all check it out here. We'll end this video off. Oh man. It cleaned up pretty nice, didn't it? it? Did, yeah. We found some floor mats in the shop for it. Nice. I mean, I think it's car show ready, don't you guys? Yes, we dyed this right here. Oh yeah, look what we dyed this. Look, look how yeah. that was all faded out. It's looking really nice. Look, Squeezy put the emblems back on for me That's with good. some command wall strips. That works, right? Yeah. High five on that. Got yeah. the Zephyr badge back on it. Glued my tail lights back in. Ooh. Got that done. Actually... Don't pull on them. What, are they um, silicone? Yeah, we silicone them back okay, in. I think if you buffed it from like the pinstripe down, I think it would take a lot of that splotchiness of whatever's splotched up the paint. Yeah. But I really do think this car is original paint car. I don't see anything that's telling me it's not original paint. It's not being a nice did, did it have a, a topper? Yeah, it had a vinyl top at one point. So you can see where somebody cut the vinyl top of it. We, we probably could put linseed oil on the roof, hood, and trunk. We could put like a cheetah print. Oh, right that there. would be cool. That would be cool. The radio works, Wawa. I mean... It's a, it's a definite keeper. Yeah, definitely. Who can open the bottle? Me. Remember, air up. Oh, he almost got it. Good job, Wawa. That wasn't bad. The last one nearly was killed me. hilarious. Nearly killed me. We gave it our best shot trying to make this thing look good. You definitely could do a little buffing, probably do a little linseed oil and make it look a little bit better. You might could even dye those seats if you had more time to let it dry, but we're planning on trying to take this to this car show season this year. We might have a video next of us taking this thing to the Shades of the Past in Pigeon Forge, which 
sadly it's going to be the last shades of past they ever do up there and i've been going to that my entire life so we kind of want to catch the last one it's looking like it could be a rain now on saturday but if not we're going to try to make it in this thing but i'm just did glad you pour that out for your homies i poured it out for my homies i, okay. I did my part Right. But I'm just glad we were able to, uh, you know, go get the kids in this thing. I know they were looking forward to that all day. You know, they got in there and helped me a little bit on this one, getting it cleaned up. I knew it would clean up pretty good when we saw it because it still got a little bit of shine to it, you know? Ooh, baby bird. <laughs> Mint in the plastic. This thing's in the plastic, as my buddy Roy would say. You'll see future videos of this car, I'm sure. There's no way I'm selling it. You couldn't pay me enough to sell this car. I'll pay somebody $500 come get this right now, okay? I got something in my eye. Definitely comment below what you'd like to see us do with this car. Whatever kind of upgrade you'd like to see done to it, whatever kind of restoration you'd like to see done to it, please let us know below. I'm really excited about this one. It's like super solid compared to some of the other ones we bought. We're going to get back on the F100 soon. Yes. We're going to get on mom's new car we keep telling you about yes. that hasn't been shown yet. Super excited. You guys are going to like it. Yeah. And we're going to get on the Red Fairmont Futura soon. We've got uh, the parts we need to get that thing going. Maybe we can do some drag racing soon, right, Wawa? Yes, oh, yeah. definitely. <laughs> right, Squeeze? Mama. What's wrong with y'all? Look, Baby Bird will do it. Good job, Baby Bird. Well, you can check us out on our second channel app. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Check us out on the phone book at. Five five five. It's always five five five. Yeah, in the movies it's always five five five. So you can call us at five 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 one two one two. Squeeze will answer. She takes all our calls. Uh, you can see our T-shirts down below. That's the only way right now to buy our merchandise. We, we got don't some have new a website. Don't go looking for it. True that. We got some new Rocky shirts. Check them out. They're down there. Just give it a click. You know, we're always working on something. We got like 20 project vehicles. I can't keep up. You would think I could keep up, but I can't. We will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. And let's go give uh, Rocky and Vania a little swig swig. Saved it. Look, you didn't save me none, son. I didn't even get a swig. We should have like a big block Chevy one and a big block Ford one, I think. And like challenge them? Yeah, we could race them against each other. Oh, Rocky's already on the run over here. Oh, look at that, Walkie. That's your favorite. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mmm, that's that good stuff, isn't it? Rocky was a lot of help with cleaning this or causing me to clean more of this. Ooh. Will she lay over for you, Squeeze? She's probably looking for that RC Cola. Yeah, she, she's, already, she's already nudged my knee. Oh, there. she's looking for it. She knows what's going on here. All right. Take it easy now. Hey. <laughs> she wants to spit my hand. She's serious about her RC Cola. That's a good pig. All right, tell them bye, Vania. Mini pig or a wild boar? What's your guess? Yeah. Wild boar. Bought it as a mini pig, probably a wild boar. Oh, he's a good pig. Yeah. She just wants some RC Cola. Tell us how you like the pudding cam, too. We need to put it on Rocky next time, yeah. see what he does all day. Bye. Bye, Rocky. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scout. She's crazy. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> Ralphie just forgot and drank after the pig. There was like a little bit left and he just <laughs> drank after the pig. It probably went back in her mouth and spit back out. She, it did not, she didn't backwash. She didn't backwash. She no, she ain't putting nothing to waste. <laughs> <laughs> she probably had a tongue on it. Like, <laughs> oh, this guy's growing up. Look at him. What are you doing? Ralphie Jr. here. <laughs>